Holly Willoughby caught the eye as she posed in an animal print tee dress by Marks and Spencer in an Instagram post on Saturday. The television presenter, 41, looked elegant in the round neck Medaxi piece which featured three-quarter length sleeves, with the dress costing £39. This morning host Holly showed off her hourglass shape as she wore a black handbag over her shoulder with the item sitting on her waist. She showed off her natural beauty in the snaps, opting for minimal makeup and using a palette of natural hues, as she posed in the golden sunlight. The screen star wore her blonde hair pinned back behind her head, with a few strands handing down on one side of her face. It comes after Holly snuck out of the National Television Awards before the ceremony ended on Thursday, leaving Philip Schofield to face the music as he was awkwardly asked about their Q-gate controversy. Share follow if you make a purchase using links on this page, Mail Online will earn an affiliate commission to a ditzy print like Holly wearing M&S Collection £39. 50 M and S collection Medaxi T dress shop it here. By now Holly Willoughby looked gorgeous in a midi dress by M and S collection. The printed pic is complete with a vibrant burgundy hue, featuring a round neck and balloon sleeves. We love the Medaxi length, so versatile. A dress like this is an autumn staple. Wear it with chunky ankle boots for an effortless day look or swap in some heels for an evening out. The options are endless. Click through to make it yours. Topping off the feminine frock was a black crossbody bag. Do you want to steal Holly's style and do a ditzy print this fall? Well, look no further. Browse through the fashion edit to shop our favorite alternative finds. Check out our hot pick from Met Velvet or snap up our must have buy from Closet London. Dot now get one like it previous next £139 mint velvet printed dress at John Lewis and Partners buy now £40 Roman midi dress at Debenhams buy now £95 Closet London dress at John Lewis and Partners buy now £115 Jigsaw midi dress at John Lewis and Partners buy now The TV presenters were booed at the event when this morning won the Best Daytime Award. Following allegations they had skipped the queue to see the Queen lying in state last month. Holly departed the awards show, held at London's Ava Arena Wembley, just before 10pm, more than half an hour before the ceremony finished. While Holly avoided any further embarrassment by leaving the show early, co-host Philip, 60, was left flustered as one guest later probed him on Qgate, leaving him awkwardly responding with a gushing ode to his fans. Yet as he extended thanks, many viewers took to social media to display their disbelief that the show had scooped the gong, demanding for Philip to hand back the award. Footage on Twitter saw the presenter being asked, Phil do you think this vindicates you for Qgate? Do you think now the public have said actually we don't care about Qgate? Smirking, Philip simply responded, We are so grateful for our amazing viewers. We love them. A source told Mail Online, This is an award voted for by viewers which makes it extra special. The whole team were delighted to receive their 12th consecutive gong at the NTAs and the cheers they received on winning. It was a great night for everyone. Shortly after the incident Holly left the ceremony, with a source telling The Sun, Holly picked up her award for best daytime and then left 30 minutes after. Normally she stays around for a drink with Phil and the team but she did an Irish exit. She was seen leaving the ceremony and getting into a car outside just after 10 p.m. The insider added that it was very awkward for Holly and Phil to go up on stage after the booze from the crowd. Getting on stage to accept the award, Holly's co-host Philip said, 
please don't think we ever get complacent and please don't think we ever take it for granted. This means so much to us every year, especially this year. We have the best boss. Holly added, this morning has a very special relationship with you, you make our show for us, you really do. All these guys on the stage here, Allison, Hammond, and Dermot, O'Leary, Rochelle, Humes, and Vernon, Kay, Josie, Gibson, everyone. Thank you for all your support. The presenters found themselves at the center of the Q-gate controversy in September when they were accused of skipping the queue to see the Queen lying in state, which they both denied. Philip and Holly faced considerable backlash, with a petition for the presenters to be removed from television altogether reached 73,000 signatures. The furor began on September 16 when the presenter's approach was contrasted with that of football legend David Beckham the same day. The former England captain waited in line for almost 14 hours to pay his respects to the Queen, despite being offered a pass by an MP to jump the queue. Good morning presenter Susanna Reid also won plaudits for waiting for seven hours with her mother to file past the coffin.